Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about appointment slots in Google Calendar. This is a great feature for things like um, sign ups for parent teacher conferences, for instance. So if I were to do that in education, the first thing I'd want to do is create a secondary calendar, which we did in a previous lesson. I'm going to call it parent teacher conferences. I'm going to make that calendar public. Obviously, if people can't get to it, they can't sign up for appointments. And then I will show you how to create an appointment slot. So let's say I'm going to have teachers come in on Wednesday the 22nd before school starts, and I'm going to be available from 8 to 4 o'clock. Whoop, not quite there. 8 to 345, let's say. I'm going to click right here in the dialog box on appointment slots. And yes, I want the um, parents to choose between every half hour session. Um, since I went to 345, let's make it 15 minute sessions to round out a little bit better. Uh, perfect. Okay. And we're just going to call this parent teacher conference or sneak a peek. Okay. And I don't want it on my calendar because my calendar is not uh, public to the world, nor do I want it to be. Instead, I want to choose that public calendar that I've already created called parent teacher conferences. Um, that changed the color, which is good because now I can get it out there and I'm just going to hit save. Now, you'll see a little icon right here that shows that it's an appointment slot and not a regular event like over here. But let's double check that. So now if I wanted to check to see what that looked like from the parent's side, I would just click on the event. It brings up this short little window to tell me a few things. And this is where this calendar's appointment page. This brings up a new tab and this is exactly what the parents would see. Now this week there's nothing going on, but it says next available appointment is on August 22nd. You'll see here's where all the appointments are in the 15 minute increments. And if somebody chose the 915 to 930, for instance, they would just um, be able to put in uh, who the parents are. So Mr. Lawson, save. And then what you'll see um, after I do that is that appointment now disappears from anyone else trying to approve that appointment. Now on my calendar, uh, once I refresh this page, oh, it actually already did before I refreshed it. Um, you will actually see on the 22nd, I still have this long list from eight to 3.45. Uh, but right here is somebody's already booked it and you can see that it's Eric Lawson. So that's fantastic. That's how you create appointment slots. 